Welcome to Crystal Info Co.uk Get Going Guides. Um, we're looking at WordPress. For this uh, episode, we're looking at the use of posts. Uh, previously, we've looked at making menus and uh, pages, and it's a decision to make. Do you want to use posts or do you want to use pages or do you want a combination of the two? What I've done is on my WordPress site, I've made a new category called blog and I've put that on the menu. And we're now going to enter the dashboard and have a look at the posts. So if we go to posts, we've got this menu here. We can view all the posts. If you remember, we had this hello world uh, post to start with when we first made the site, which comes up here, which uh, we can um, use. But if we want to add a new one, we just uh, click on new post and it's exactly the same as making a new page. So, so my first post and then input data here and uh, you can then save it and publish it as you would a page. But what you want to do is to tell it what category you want it to go under. So what we do here is I want it to be in a blog. So I don't want it to be in undercategorized. It can go in multiple things and then we update it there. Now if we view this we can go down to the menu and if we click on the blog up will come the my first blog information. So let's add another blog to that category. So we go to new post So, my second post, here it is, and we tell it what category we want it to go into, so we want it to go under blog, publish it, and now we'll preview it in the site, and you can see that under blog it all appears there in order. Now a good thing about this is under the entries RSS it has an RSS feed so you can view all your posts in the order that they've been created. So the advantage of posts is it allows you to view it uh, via an RSS feed and you can subscribe to it and do all sorts of different things depending on your browser and you can search for different articles uh, and things from there. So which is quite a nice uh, aspect uh, of WordPress to be able to do that. So what you can do here is you can just uh, make news articles or diaries or anything that allows you to just update and change as and when you want. So that's really how posts work. Um, similar to pages but you can have multiple information and it, you don't have to make a new page for each individual thing it just makes a new section every time you make a new um, article. So that's it for posts. Um, decision to do is whether you use those or pages. Um, think about it first and then optimize it for you. So this is Chris Linford Co uk. You can find me on www.chrislinfordco.uk or on iTunes and on YouTube.